Well, this is a timely poem. I am frankly tired of writing political poems, but uh, here it is nevertheless. The Princess and the Pilot, October 2nd, 2008. The bankers are taking the lifeboats, of course. Meanwhile, the steerage mob screams, like rats in a cage that is being immersed. They are angry, howling in the futile delusion that it was not always the rich that got away and the seething masses quelled in bulk. But the old man holding the beauty queen, who's singing songs and making jokes, he knows how he took this whole gang once, and no one even remembers. His victory is the audacity of the salesman, once more slaying reason in the rampant stampede of the public id. For the princess is the idea-proof icon. All criticisms merely deflect onto her critic each argument strengthening the fervor of her cult. So long as she keeps her beauty, she can leash the public and mush them like dogs all the way into perdition. Their boldness creeps us to the brink where dialogue is dispensed, for talk is devalued when all complaints are seen as gnats. I think the light in their eyes is a hunger for that approaching fratricidal war, or perhaps perceived as a reflection of one's own shadow that anger and contempt that has been tended like a crop of poisons. Leave me done with politics. At least if politics will do no more to me. This current of fury diminishes my inner dimensions. But the boat spins and takes on water and mists. And in her secret silences, the princess hisses venom. The pilot leans back and pours another beer.